We played a show at Shine called Shine the Light. Shine the Light. It was I'm pretty dark in there, but... <laughs> <laughs> My camera did not work in there. <laughs> we, uh, we still had a little bit of light from... Uh, you know, uh, the bar had a little bit of light. I had my own little DJ light, so that helped. But it was, I thought it was pretty dark in there. Yeah. But still, uh, hopefully it was the uh, internal light rather than the external light. So what musicians do you usually play? I mean, what did you play tonight, musicians? Tonight it was, um, well, there, as soon as I got in, this guy came up to me and got, you're gonna play Indian music, right? Like, <laughs> you better. <laughs> he wasn't a dubology expert. <laughs> so to him, I was like, okay, enough dogs. So we tried to make everybody happy, but. Um, I was happy. It had me dancing around and sweating. I sweat a lot. I so. think the, uh, <laughs> the uh, South Asian contingent was counting on me to hear their sound. So basically, I think I made everybody happy by playing more South Asian. Than, I didn't play anything Arabic tonight. No, no. But I liked it. it was it's a also good set. a short set, so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, usually, what happens is, you know, Westerners like everything kind of thing. They don't really, you know, if it's Arabic or South Asian or African, they don't really. As long as it's music to dance, they dance. But the problem becomes when you know people become like chauvinistic about their own kind of music. Yeah. And they're like they just want their music and no one else music. So we try to cross those bridges because apparently, besides music, we're not crossing too many bridges these days in terms of uh, harmony and. Uh, peace in the world and nobody hungry, nobody homeless like right across the street, right? If we don't succeed with music, I'm not sure. Well, I think if you can get a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds together dancing in one space, mm. bumping into each other, maybe saying hello, maybe cussing each other out, some kind of interaction. Yeah, that's and being there in the space together and being in harmony with the music and the rhythm and the thump or whatever, you know, just being there. That's that, the idea, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that helps a little bit. At least you're in the same space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's what we tried to... And then uh, musicians' names that you played? Like tonight? Yes. Uh, Swami, one of them. Uh, Medieval Pandits, uh, Delhi to Dublin. What was that? Delhi to Dublin, uh -huh. like like the city Delhi. Delhi. Yeah, yeah Delhi, Delhi to, to Dublin. Dublin. Uh, <laughs> Lots of good stuff. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, where will you be playing? Uh, what's your next show? I know you're getting ready to go to Burning Man, also, right? Yes. And you'll be playing a couple of shows a day. Uh, yeah, it seems like I will be playing like starting Wednesday all the way to Sunday, uh, like nice. two shows a day or a night. You play a lot. I mean, when I get the invitations, you play. You're you're busy. You're a busy man. You do a lot of business, a lot of getting people out there. Uh, yeah, I wish we could solve, you know, help. Everything that we do that is something that we love that generates like that feel to somebody else i mean just just being present being able to be present and bringing people present mm -hmm. and if you send them out in the world with that presence and that good feeling then they feel good to other people you yeah know? just i mean just even that if they go home tonight and they wake up in the morning and they're in a good mood and they go out and they deal with people in a good space. There's less chances to, uh, to have more do something wrong. Or yeah, yeah. Negative. I mean, so you, there we. It's like we can't do everything. We can do what we can do, mm -hmm. and what we can do is immense. Each person. For so, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, sure. so you're getting ready to go to Burning Man. Second is when I start playing. So all the way from like from Wednesday to like Sunday morning. 
and it's actually a, a good place to play because there is no uh, there is no noise restriction. There is no uh, people are pretty receptive to actually. What happened is that last year um, there's like a few of us that we call it Asian Massive. So it's um, originally started with uh, Kersh Kale, Medieval Pandits and I. And so we have a certain sound. Yes. And so last year, Kersh and I and Janaka, um, we were there playing and it really like was a big thing because people had not, so many people had not heard this kind of sound. Be it at like 11 p.m. or like, you know, like I did a set from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. So even at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., those sounds were very different from what I understand people are used to here at Burning Man you know, different styles of music. But like, our style was like, wow, this is... For a lot of people, it was new that's, and fresh. You know? That's awesome. I mean, I love for people to like, kind of crash the party. Like, come in and do something that's unexpected. Uh, status quo. Mm -hmm. And to go into any status quo and do something different that moves it, it gives it fresh air, you know? And it's like, it gives it breath and it gives it life again. Yeah. And it's your life that you bring there. So that, that's beautiful, yay. Last year, I played at two camps. And then this year, I'm playing like six or seven camps. So that's like to illustrate. Nice. The people, more, people appreciate more, it. Yeah, more camps want to hear more of that sound. Nice. When you get back from Burning Man, um, mm. do you have another show lined up in the Bay Area? Yeah, a couple of benefits yeah. at 111 Mina. One is called uh, San Francisco to Uganda. Okay. And then another one also at 111 Mina. They're both on Thursdays. Oh, nice. And that one is a project called Ahimsa, which means non-violence. Oh, nice. Non-violence. And it's a... Uh, project I've been involved with since the beginning for a few years and it raises money and bring schools and music instruments to homeless children in India. Yes. Children you. that have no parents, no nothing. Mm, thank, you. thank you. So it brings them that. So that's that benefit. And then I go to Chicago and Madison and Rapid City, and then I come back home and then I take a nap. And then you visit your beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> Shebisaba.com. C O C H E B I S S A B B A T H dot com. Chebby Saba. No. no. If you put a T, that no. makes me heavy metal. Oh, <laughs> Sabbath. <laughs> Chebby Sabbath. <Okay. laughs> rah, rah, go, the dust. <laughs> I, I, I did a show once where the, where the fly was Chebby Sabbath. <laughs> so. Okay, so that's a. You can that's C H E B I. Uh, S A B B A H. Uh, ba. 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 In ba. Arabic is Bach. Bach. Okay. Sbah. Sbah. Sbah means morning. 